Hi, Tom Stark. I know my name. Tom Stewart here. It is Monday. Monday the 13th. Right? I can do that. That's right. Our business moves. There you go. We'll start off slowly so we don't hurt ourselves. Uh, got Liz with me. Hey, Liz, how are you today? Hey, y'all. I'm fine. You're having too much fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that was helpful, Tom. I got to say. Okay. <laughs> it's all out nice. Yeah. And we've got Maria Taskaway with us. Did you change Hello. your name, Maria? That's Maria Doring with Taskaway. Oh, Taskaway with Taskaway. Too long. Yeah. <laughs> She's giving you the critical information, Tom. You need to know Maria. You need to know Taskaway. Yeah, all the important stuff. Uh, Maria yeah. is is a friend of the family. She uh, is a big part of, big help of Made Central. She's part of the Made Central team. She does a lot of work, and her company does a lot of work uh, for, for Castle Keepers. Um, I don't know how I could survive if it wasn't for mm. Maria. So we really appreciate you taking some time today and, and, and joining us. And sharing with a larger audience a little bit about what VAs are about and how, uh, how that's uh, kind of changing the landscape of, of, of house cleaning. Uh, you know, Liz and I talk about back in the day, you know, when we started doing it, I don't know if I could, could have spelled VA 20 years ago. Was there even such a thing? <laughs> okay, Tom, your spelling is not that bad. I'm just saying. It's all mud. <laughs> Not quite, but yeah, um, I, I, I totally agree with you, Tom, that back in the day, uh, not that long ago, actually, it, it, VAs were just a mystery. Didn't even yeah. seem like something that was accessible, like, or, or that would be used at all in our industry. It was, I can remember, Tom, it's like embarrassing to admit right now, but I remember being on a call with you and Derek and maybe Troy, and I was like, I don't get it. What would they do? now we kind of can't live without them in all fairness yeah. we've had these calls for a while you know longer than maybe what we, we we want to admit you know yeah we were looking we were talking about a project that we did like years past and i dug it up and the pages had turned yellow and it was like 10 years old and we just couldn't believe it was no we were sure it was like, you know, maybe three, maybe, maybe four years ago, but not that long ago. Ten years. We're like, what? Ah, gosh, yeah, crazy. Time flies. Time flies. Oh, Maria, did Tom tell you about the uh, comments? You can see live comments on the oh. right-hand side of your page where it says private chat. Oh, I see it now. Okay, yeah. Glad you pointed it out. Nobody can see it until we tell you. And okay, he doesn't it. It on his screen. It's not like that on his. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Lisa, Sarah, Marlo. Oh, Marlo, thank you so much for sending me that stuff today. I appreciate it. You are a dreamboat. And I know we haven't gotten you our piece of that agreement, but we will. We will. <laughs> we're, just, we're just not as organized as you are. That's all. So. But before we... Well, I'm not sure exactly what you did, Marlo, but it sounds great. Thank you. You do know I sent it to you, Tom. She sent us those testimonials. Oh, well, I don't have a chance. I'm, I'm so far behind. If that happened today, I haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, he, he hasn't seen them. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut you slack. I got to wait. I got to wait until tonight before I can even hope to get caught up. Anyway. All right. Do we want to do we want to look at what we're doing uh, this week in smart business moves before we get too deep into uh, our discussion here? Yes, but don't get thrown off when I update it on the fly because I have information that you don't have currently. Okay, should I show my deck? Is that yeah. okay? Sure, we'll show it and I'll tell everybody what the change is, and then you can make the changes. You can tell me why it's wrong. That's right. You can, tell me why I'm, you can tell me why I'm wrong. Well, actually, you're not wrong. You're right. We just have to make a change. That's all. I'll get out. So today is Monday, the 13th. Maria is with us, and she's going to be giving us the inside skinny on what VAs are all about and why 
cleaning businesses use them and the things that we would need to know in the VA world as cleaning business owners. Um, what, uh, what do you got for the rest of the week, Liz? What's, what's changed here? Uh, well, we got RJ up and he'll be here. He confirmed with me last Friday, so I know he'll be here. Um, his topic is do the right thing and the right things will happen for you. And um, it follows right along with anybody that knows RJ knows that he is very much about doing good in the world and how good things come back to you by doing that. And so he's going to talk to us quite a bit about that. And then, Tom, why don't you talk to us about Deal Day? Okay. Well, this is something new that uh, we're doing with the cleaning business today. And Smart Business Moves is, is, is going to be a big part of that. And what we're going to be doing is every other Monday, and we're not even really going to formally start. I'm, excuse me, I said Monday. I'm out Wednesday. Every other Wednesday, starting the 15th, but we're really not starting on the 15th. It's kind of a soft start. We're going to introduce the concept and explain how it's going to work. We'll have a deal or two for you, but we're really going to start formally two Wednesdays from the 15th, which I guess I should know that, the 29th. But, but the whole idea is to allow vendors who offer products and services to the house cleaning industry to uh, give them four minutes, a four minute video to explain who they are, what they do, why it's relevant to the house cleaning industry and to make an offer, which could be a discount. It could be additional services. It could be whatever, but it would be something that would be special of additional value that you couldn't get anywhere else, but would only be available for like the balance of the week. Anywhere from 24 to 48 hours and bam, it goes away. You'll never see it again. So that's what we're going to, to introduce on Wednesday. All right. And then on Thursday, our guest was supposed to be Sharon. Um, unfortunately, Sharon has had um, something come up. And so she will not be able to be on this week. We're hoping to get her on next week and move somebody around. So we're going to have a kind of a surprise person uh, tomorrow. We'll let you know tomorrow. I mean, on Thursday, we'll let you know tomorrow exactly who's going to be filling in for Sharon. Um, you can save that to next week if you have that time because she will be um, available for us next week. Okay. And then um, on Friday, we have a secret guest for On The Spot. And On The Spot is kind of our rapid fire question and answer. You ask questions and Tom and myself and our secret guest each give one minute answer to any question that you ask. We continue asking, answering questions as long as you ask them up until the hour. Um, we try to get done early on Friday, so we try to answer fast and get done. Uh, so far, we have not been very successful at getting out of here early on Fridays. You guys have yeah, yeah, a few minutes early, but not enough to get excited about. Uh, not, not, not more than three, y'all. So not amazing. But that's okay. Uh, it's been a good time. We've been having fun with it. And this week's guest, the clue for this week is um, this is a man that is um, not as well known in the industry, but will be soon. That's my clue. Wow. I can't wait to oh. find out who that is. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to tell you. Very good. Any other housekeeping matters before we uh, jump into our discussion was? I don't think so, Tom. Nothing I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, there was a little bit of an update around uh, unemployment, um, uh, just saying that they were, nothing's changed yet, but that there is some stuff in the work. So keep your, keep your like eyes open and your ears peeled and be ready. And then one other thing, just a quick reminder, taxes are due in two days, the day after tomorrow. Or your extension is due. Yeah, your extension. Either way, right? You got to file by the 15th. And yeah, Congress is back in session. I got ready to say they're back at work, but I 
don't know that to be true or not, but technically they're back in session and will be for the next two weeks. So the thinking is that what's next will, you know, they're going to come up with uh, some, some bills and put forth, you know, some, some legislation to become law to, to, to pick up and continue the work that they were doing with the unemployment insurance, maybe any changes to, you know, the CARES Act, PPP, all of that. This is kind of like their last uh, last hurrah before the uh, November's an election, the, 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 the November elections, rather. So um, you expect to see some, some, some interesting stuff coming out of Washington over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right, so that's it for me. I just wanted to uh, point that out that We've got only a limited amount of time, but there are some interesting things they're talking about right now. So, Maria, how are you today? I am great. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit about you, yourself, how you got here, and what you do. Yeah, so... I had a house cleaning business in Austin, Texas for 14 years. It was, I loved what I did, honestly. And after I sold it, it actually sold pretty quickly. It was kind of a whirlwind and I didn't really have a plan for what next. Um, but we did end up moving to Spain. So I'm currently in Spain. It's 11 o'clock at night. Whereas, you know, it's obviously <laughs> five o'clock over there. Um, and it didn't take me about six months into, you know, enjoying my life in Spain when I was like, man, I really miss the house cleaning industry. It's, it was, it was literally my identity. And as I'm kind of going, man, what can I do? Like, I can't start. I mean, I could, but I really kind of didn't want to because of the language barrier. I was, you know, thinking about what could possibly be done while I was in Spain. Um, I got a call from the owners that bought the cleaning service and they asked me if they, if I'd like to be a VA for them. And that was really a light bulb moment. And I was like, yeah, that's like the perfect job for me. I would love to do that. And that kind of started the journey. And, and now what I do is I am a VA and I have a, a virtual assistant agency where we hire VAs and we train them and introduce them to the house cleaning world. And we pair them with other maid services that, that just need help, honestly. They're overwhelmed. They need help. Uh, so that's what we did. Wow. So when did you when when did you start doing the uh, the VA service? When did you get that call? Uh, that was 2018. Okay. Yeah, about two years ago now. Now you did that on your own for a while before figuring out that you wanted to make it a business. Yeah, I mean, I didn't necessarily like. I didn't start off thinking I was going to grow a business from it. I started off just picking up, you know, the owners of the company that I sold. And then I picked up another client and that client just kind of told a lot of people about me. And next thing you know, I've I had four clients on my own and I'm like, oh my gosh, if I write down one to do to list, it's like 30 to do. It was just like overwhelming. I was spending 70 hours a week and I thought I can't do this on my own. And so I brought on one, one virtual assistant to help me. And she's still with me today. She's totally amazing and awesome and I'm blessed to have her. So that's actually kind of how it started. Just, it just got really, really busy, really, really fast. And you were living in Spain the whole time. The whole time. And, yeah. and you work all night. And I work all night. Don't sleep. You're like, you're a vampire. Just go ahead, tell everybody you're a vampire. Mm -hmm. I'm a vampire. My sister will tell you I'm a vampire, but I love it because in the U S I was a night owl. So it works like my friends and family knew that they can call me at two, three in the morning in the U S and I would be awake. And so for me now it's, it's like the perfect schedule because I get to stay up till five, six in the morning. And then I wake up in the afternoon and it's awesome. I get to sleep in every single day of my life. <laughs> it sounds so horrible to me, but I know you've always been this way. I, I remember when you first told me about homeschooling in the middle of the night, like mm -hmm. 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. I was like, That's when we would start. Yeah, my That's brain couldn't even wrap around mm -hmm. that. And I remember telling Tom about this and he he didn't argue with me about it but every time we talked about it he'd be like yeah but it's really late i'm like but it's not for maria it's like start of her day he's like yeah but it's it's much later over there yeah but it's 
still not for my <laughs> yeah okay it's hard yeah. to wrap our, your head around yeah you really are a night owl I yeah. really, truly, yeah, like my best friend and I, we used to go on runs starting at 2, 3 in the morning, and it was, she was like my perfect best friend, because she was a night owl, too, and then we would hike, <laughs> but for me, this schedule is, like, perfect, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so nice. Well, I, I'm looking forward to hearing, uh, Maria, you brought us today five, the five top things that uh, VAs, um, that people hire VAs yeah. for. And mostly you're talking about in our industry, like residential cleaning, is that right? Or do you work in other industries too? We work in other industries. We have uh -huh. it when care, compass, uh, oh. Okay, brought on a dog walker. There's a little glitch there. Um, let's see. We have a real estate, a couple of real estate agents that we're working with. So really, I mean, we can work for any industry. But for the maid service um, industry specifically, um, the new trend, and, and this is so cool to me and really super interesting, but the, the number one right now hot reason that people hire a VA are startup companies. Um, people that have just started their company, they're out there working, just learning how to clean, how to, um, you know, command their, while they're, uh, uh oh, <laughs> this is not going to be good. Well, because they've also Maria, started advertising. We have, a, we have a little bit of a problem, Maria. You are frozen more than you are you are unfrozen right now. It just happened here, just within the last couple of minutes, and you are hard frozen right now. Frozen. But if it makes you feel any better, you do not freeze like I freeze because when I freeze. It is always some scary face that Tom likes to even take snaps of me and send them to me, knowing how bad I look. <laughs> but you, on the other hand, have frozen at least five times, Maria, and you've always looked perfectly respectable in every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, we, we might do we might do an entire show of like our frozen faces. Uh, one one really bad thing about being really animated when you talk is a lot of times you get pictures like this. Or, well, I don't remember what I was doing in the one. I think I was picking my teeth. Tom so, caught me in the While we are waiting for Maria right, to come Carlo? Back. I'm with you. Oh, Mer oh, Leslie. Leslie, I'm sorry. Yeah, wow. I, I heard. I mean, I didn't hear the details, but like the governor's kind of kind of clamping down again, I guess. There's so many new cases of COVID. So does that mean that you have to close your cleaning business down because of what the governor is doing? Well, well, she can't answer. Hey, Maria, are you back? Oh, no, she's frozen again. But look, everybody's saying the same thing. You freeze well. Marlo I said think it. I'm back, yeah. You guys were you frozen. Back? I like that you think we were frozen, Maria. Yeah, That's I think I'm freezing. Yeah. Is, is that her? We're not I the think ones that are frozen. We're not yeah, the ones that are messed up, Maria. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. Oh, bummer. Okay, well, hopefully this is better. Let's see. Okay. No. Let's give it a go. Oh, we'll try. Whoops. So the number one thing is startups. You okay, said. Okay, we'll try. Yeah. So startups, mm -hmm. so startups, people that are just starting their company and they are out in the field. They're just starting the training process and they need help. They need people to answer the phone. So that's that's a, a hot trend. Um, the other uh, people are just office managers, like people that don't have an office manager for, for whatever reason. So, I mean, there's so many different scenarios with that. It's people that have an office manager, but they just, their office manager is overwhelmed with the day-to-day. -day. They need backup. They need support. They 
your phones are too busy. So that's, that's really, really common. Um, you know, a lot of times when you guys have an office manager, you know that they don't just answer the phones. They're, you know, they're have the teams as they come in for the day, you know, as they come back from at the end of the, of the afternoon. So a lot of times those phones don't always get answered. So having a VA to back, to be the backup when the office manager can't answer the phone is, is super common. All right. So, and so that could look. Phone. Go ahead. Answer phone. So that could be one of. Do what? Uh, no. Um, yeah. So that ahead, could be one. Of, yeah. So that could be one of two things. That could be, you know, a scenario where the phone rings and it's going to ring to both the office manager and the VA, or it could be where if the office manager doesn't answer that call, they're not able to get to that call. Um, they might be busy doing an interview or they might have had a walk in. Then the, it goes to the VA and the VA can grab the call and, and do the sale and book the job. All right. So well, that would be the number two reason. So it's not just answering the phones then. They also do sales. So they can do sales on the phone. So um, yeah. how do they I, – I guess that is the tricky part. How do they – know how to sell for all of the different individual companies. Do they have to be trained to do that or what, what's that all about? Yeah, so we do a lot of internal training, just task away as a organization just does a lot of internal training. Um, we have, we work on scripts. If, if a company doesn't have scripts, we'll provide them with a really, really good script that works. Um, and then the company does training as well. So the company is gonna do more training just on the the inner you know the ins and outs of the particular company you know what's included in a make ready the the pricing um you know how we're handling all the covid stuff just all of the the details the company trains on but on our side the task away side we we train on sales okay so you think about answering the phone you think about answering service basically they're just taking a message but your people are actually doing something with that phone call. Oh yeah. They're, they're booking, they're doing the scheduling. I mean, obviously they're giving the quote, they're doing the sale, what's included in the cleaning. They are following up, you know, with questions to the owner or the office manager, if it's an office manager support role. Um, in a lot of cases, they're even doing the schedule. So for example, one of the clients that we have, they're, it's already Monday and they're, they're getting really, really full for the week. And so they have to keep a really, really close eye on the schedule to make sure that, you know, nobody overbooks on, on mask cleanings. So the VA does everything start to finish. It's, it really is just like having an office manager. They just happen to work from home. They happen to work remote. But as far as okay. taking complaints, all of that, they can do all of that. So how much training typically does a business have to put into like hiring a VA? Does it just depend on what they're going to have them doing? If they're going to hire for them to answer phones, is there like a typical amount of training or? Yeah, we do like an hour introductory call with the main service owner. Um, actually, we do more than that. Actually, we do an introductory call. We help set them up. Um, we get all of their documentation and all their training and all their all the training, all the employee handbooks and all that good stuff. And the VA just has to memorize all of that. And then really just like hiring an office manager, it goes with time. I mean, you know, the first couple of calls might be rough and, hey, you know, we didn't really talk about, you know, could we use a client's vacuum in a home? And the first time, you know, the answer is no, we actually can't. Or, well, we do, but they have to sign a waiver. Then the next time the VA takes a call that says, hey, can you guys use my vacuum? Then we already know what that answer is. And we actually, our VAs actually document that too for the business owner. So that when it's time for another VA to step in or an office manager, then we can literally hand them everything that our VA learned for them. So we, we help document that as well. So do you have like a, a list of basic questions that you have to be able to tell them how much you charge, whether or not you use vacuums, how do you handle pets? Is there like a, that's the first stage is to fill out this spreadsheet 
or something? It's yeah, mm -hmm. it's a it's a long. So it's actually a really, really involved long form. And then then we have a one on one training with the VA and the company. And that's another set of, I don't know, maybe like 30, 40 questions. So 30, 40 questions on a form of another easily 30, 40 questions on um, on just training. You know, there's so many things like if you were just to do it written, there's probably going to be things that you just don't remember to say. And then when, you know, when you've got a training call, then you can start to go, you know, just brainstorm and ideas come out and, oh, I need to tell you about this and I need to tell you about that. And, you know, in this situation, you would do this and, and you know, in that situation, you would do that. And part of the training call, too, is um, they'll the maid service will actually teach us how to read their schedule. So on any given day, we can look and we can go, oh, yeah, we can't book anymore for Thursday because we're full. So you work with all the different scheduling programs then? Do you have any parameters around that? I know that you do Made Central, but do you, do and Central. I'm guessing you do, and Zen Made, no problem because you worked for mm. Zen Made for a while. Right. So how about other programs? We do. We pretty much, I think Bamboo, is it Bamboo? No, Booking Koala. Booking Koala is probably the only, Booking Koala and Service Fusion, I think are the only two that we, we don't currently use, but Launch 27, super popular, so our VAs are automatically trained on that. Of course, you said Zen Made, Customer Factor, Jobber, we, we have to learn all of those. Made easy. Even what, what about service autopilot? That's a that's and service a autopilot. Product. Yeah, that's a huge one. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. He's a, he's a huge one. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Wow, that, 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 that I, so basically, you have probably VAs that are really good at knowing maybe two or three of these. Then you don't mm -hmm. each VA doesn't work in all the different things, no. right? So, okay, no. this person specializes in service autopilot, something like that. Yeah, exactly. And because our VAs work one on one with the maid service owner, so that's once you're assigned to a company, you get one VA and that's that's your person. So they'll already come, you know, trained. There's there's times that especially like uh, like maybe Jobber would be a good would good be a good example where it's not a super, super popular um, you know, software platform form. So we the VA might need a little bit additional training than what Taskaway provides, but all the other ones we it's we train on that. So we've got, a, we've got five reasons. We've hit startup. We've hit backup for overflow. Yeah, that's so far. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's a few other scenarios where you're working with big companies. And, you know, those bigger companies, you can easily get – you know, gosh, 20, 30, 40, even 50, 60 calls a day. And one person just can't handle all of those calls, right? So we have um, a couple of companies where we have a team of VAs that actually take calls. And so what that looks like is the office manager or actually even just the VAs, no office managers, because we are their sales office managers. So the call will be routed and if VA1 is on the phone not available it might ring to two other VAs or it might just ring you know person one person two person three to where there's a whole team on all of the incoming calls and that's super popular with you know with the bigger companies that way none of their calls get missed I mean to have none of their calls get missed is a little bit str you know it's you, we want to we want to close to an A rating on on answering those incoming calls, and so a lot of times just having a team works really works wonders. So it's basically the same thing as the overflow, just more people working that same job. Just more people working that same job, and yeah, and so and like I said, it's it's like a team. One person is out for the day, then you, you know you've got two other people that can handle it. Um, it's kind of neat because especially for a bigger company, um, they all train one another too, which is kind of awesome. And there's just a lot of support going on when, when there's a team being paired with a bigger company. Yeah, I can see that. So we, that see, makes we see that. Yeah. And the nice thing too, when you have, you know, one office manager, again, it's so easy for that one person 
to get burnt out, right? I mean, they're doing so many tasks. They're doing the emails. They're handling the complaint calls. They're dealing with the broken vacuums and the lockouts and the employee issues. So really having a VA to help alleviate, you know, whether it be emails or phones is super helpful to just be able to free, you know, time and brain space for that main office manager to be able to work on things like, oh, you know, the, I've noticed that teams are, they, they're feeling really down lately. They're all coming back bummed. You know, what do we need to do to kind of lift everybody's spirit? Maybe we should do a, you know, employee appreciation week and then the office manager is getting all that together. So a VA can really help like free up time and space. Right. So, so this is what I've heard. Go ahead, Tom. No, I'm just wondering, where does that put us on our list of five? Yeah, I feel confused uh, right now. It's okay. I think that was number four. Um, Wait, number four. So, number, go back. Yes, uh, go so back. we have startup. Yeah, it's okay. We have startup All and right. slower companies. I have to read my notes. Um, oh, yeah, I missed one. Uh, office manager, uh, backup and support. Right. Uh, multiple for larger companies, multiple salespeople. Uh, another one that I did not mention is you know how many people don't have offices these days? They don't have a workspace. They don't have an office. They want to work from home. That was even pre-COVID. But if you're working from home, you can't hire an office manager. So there it is. You, you're hiring a, a VA. So that's another reason. We have a couple of companies um, that don't have an office space. So they, so they pretty much what, whatever you hire them for, you can have it for any reason because you're a small company, a big company, you're busy, you're not too busy, but they're always going to do the same thing, it sounds like. It's not like they're there are lots gonna, of jobs. It's, yeah, it's all the Of course, yeah. now you're it's afraid. answering you the inbound calls, it's the emails. <laughs> Are we freezing again? A little yeah. bit. A little is that bit. better? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. This is what I get for not being in my home, by the way. <laughs> I decide to do one of these in a quiet space, right? And then the internet goes out. <laughs> or down or whatever. I have, um, I have somebody, Maria, in our MMA group that he works in his office and he has people there. So periodically, he's a big company too, which is funny. He's like quite a bit over a million dollars. He's a, a very large company and he's one of multiple companies and he has to go hide in his uniform closet. <laughs> and he'll be making calls, all the uniforms and he'll be freezing mm -hmm. up like that. I'm like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. this, is this big company guy, right? <laughs> That's I hilarious. That. I know, I love yep, it. All yep. right, go ahead. So, yep. so there are lots of different reasons why they might hire, mm -hmm. but... I think you're you were trying to say that they will do different tasks also it's not just answering phones and handling sales calls it's not just no it's project based too it's answering the Yelp the Yelp leads and following up on the Angie's list oh my gosh the review component is so huge so you guys know I, I love quality driven. Um, and so what a lot of our VAs do is, you know, call back the non responders, calling back the four stars to say, hey, we noticed, you know, that your cleaning was good, which is, you know, a four star and um, unless you're working on a, you know, four star scale, but it was good. What can we do to get a five? So that's another thing that a VA you know, calls every day and just, hey, or if they get a five, if they give the company a five star, hey, we're so glad that you liked your cleaning. Could we, you know, can we get a Yelp and Google review? So that's, that's another function that a VA could do. Okay. So, so far I have sales, incoming sales, and then I have um, doing handling the quality driven component, which is um, mainly for the the customers calling and so that'd be outbound mm -hmm. calls right outbound right. calls quality can control they do outbound sales they can do outbound sales so that yeah I mean the, on the outbound sales they can follow up on sales leads or they could um, do cold calling that's something that we can do as well so that's what I'm gonna be hiring you for right is some, yeah. um, calling cold some calling cold leads and some warm leads mm -hmm. yeah yeah yep. 
All right. That's super popular. So as far as function, um, what else could they do? And then dealing with the teams. So dealing with the lockouts and the broken vacuums and, hey, today, Mrs. Smith, um, you know, we couldn't clean the bathtub because she put her kitty litter in there. And, you know, somebody needs that we need to, can you call her just to let her know that everything else looks good. We just couldn't do the, the inside of her tub today or whatever. So mm -hmm. just those daily tasks. The old so incoming team calls. Say it again, Tom. The old kitty litter in the bathtub. Yeah. The team calls, yeah. <laughs> so incoming no, team calls. Litter. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Mar incoming team calls. Would, yeah. it, would it be easier to maybe ask the question from the other angle? Are there things that VAs typically don't do or wouldn't do? It sounds like, you know, anything short of cleaning a house, a VA might be doing it for you. I mean, really, seriously, there. I think the only thing that TaskAway does not do is um, posting on social media, right? We do some of that, but it's, it's not our thing. Um, and then web work, like, you know, dealing with websites. But it really the best way to picture a VA is just picture an office manager, what your operations manager might do, what your office manager might do. And a virtual assistant can do that. They just do it from their homes in their quiet space. All right. So I need to have a party planned. Mm -hmm. Can a VA do that? Easy. I we, just we've totally the done that before. Yeah. Okay. You just give them the budget. Um, and then there are VA. We, in fact, we actually helped with the wedding. And that's exactly what we did. The guy gave the, um, you know, the VA a budget. And the VA got the spaces and, you know, interviewed the caterers and did the cakes and basically just said, okay, these are my top three on each of these categories that I want you to interview. I really like them. And these were their top points and, and easy peasy. Yep. And gave the company a spreadsheet, a really beautiful, it was actually a really beautiful spreadsheet of all the work that was done and why, you know, this company favored that one and, and reviews. They even said, these are the reviews on Google. So right. yeah, any any task, you guys. How about employee reviews or evaluations? Uh, what like are that? so not yet. So right now, um, all of our VAs are subcontractors, but oh, we're really excited about this. Um, as of this week, they've all turned employees. So oh, we're going to wow. have a lot more control on, I know they're all employees now. So we're going to have a lot more control on quality and even scripts and, you know, what they're allowed to say, what they're not allowed to say and things like that. So we're really, really actually really super excited about that. And wow. we have a great, yeah, we have a really great culture, but I think we're about to even have a better one. So yeah, we're, we're all really excited about that. And congratulations, yeah. Maria. That's yeah. exciting. Thank you. Isn't it, isn't it really <laughs> unique you. in the industry? I mean, nobody. Else, I mean, ever. I mean, there's hmm. a lot of options for VAs, but they're pretty much all ICs, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, and and I think um, you know, quite honestly, when I first started, it, Maria as a person got so busy that I just started hiring people. But I did realize at a certain point that if I can find a way to duplicate who I am and the level of commitment and quality that I would bring to, to any project that I'm working on, that's kind of what I want. I want an extension of me because I know what I bring and, and I want my people to bring that too. So I would want that. Too, I think Marie. I'm, <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying the VA that's going to work for me. I want, I want them to be an extension of you. <laughs> Yeah. You're the ideal yeah. in my book. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I do love what I do, honestly. And yeah, let's no, have a question here. She wants to know what are the VA skill set requirements? Yeah. I'm not sure why she's asking, though, because she said her phones aren't ringing because COVID's got everybody scared. But maybe she's just planning ahead, knowing that the phones will ring one day in the future. And well, maybe it's well, something other than phones, Tom. Maybe she wants someone to reach out to all of our customers and and, 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 and comfort <laughs> them, let them know all the, the proper safety precautions we're doing to make sure yeah. that they don't get COVID. That's a good point. I'm, I'm, yeah. 
Yeah. You're, 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 you're ahead of it. So what, what, what are the requirements to be a, a VA? What are you looking for? Well, number one, they have to have a clean background period. Um, we're really strict on that because you're dealing with credit cards, right? And you're dealing with um, sensitive information. You're dealing, I mean, it's a trust thing. So you, you just have to have a clean background. Um, you, they are required to have admin work in the past. Um, so interestingly enough, as a subcontractor, um, well, one of the things now I should say, one of the things now that they're going to be employees is they're going to be going through, um, a skills test where they have to answer emails and they have to make sure that, you know, they're techie and they know all the different, you know, they know what a Google drive is and they know how to access documents and, and you know, things like Google drive and being able to use Trello. So we're really, really excited about that. And that's actually something that we're developing right now. So, but yeah, they have to have experience. They have to have um, a really great phone voice. That's really, really important. Um, they have to be able to sell. That's they have to be able to close. Um, what else do they have to do? They have to they have to be able to walk people off of a ledge. And so what that means, because you guys know that you know we're all perfect. None of us get complaints in our maid services. But you know, once a year, it's only once a year, we might have somebody that wasn't exactly happy with their cleaning. So the VA has to be able to you know calm somebody down, walk them off the ledge. Get, gather all the information on what didn't go so well with their cleaning and then effectively communicate that to the owner or the office manager in order to get it fixed. So being able to just um, deal with customer complaints is, is, is a requirement. We do test for that. Okay. I can see that would be a big one too, because if they're taking incoming calls, you don't know who's on the other end of that line. You mm -hmm. got to be ready to handle anything that comes through. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, because we are working from our homes, a quiet background is, is required. Oh, yeah. Internet yeah, connection, have... I guess, uh, stuff that, you know, they have to have all the technology, right? They have to, they have to have the technology. They have to be able to have, you know, a, a certain speed on the laptop. They have to, you know, if they're using a desktop, they've got to be able to work from home. So, a lot of times VAs think, oh, I can just like if, go to the mall. If you were interviewing, like, like Maria, if you were interviewing as a VA candidate with the internet connection you have right now, you probably wouldn't hire yourself. <clears throat> We would not hire. Nope, nope, nope. We wouldn't. And it's a, it's a shame too. Like there, oh. gosh, we've had some. Uh, oh no, it's okay. I wouldn't hire me. Um, no, there's <laughs> no, there's there's so many times, you guys, that great candidates have come in, and next thing you know, you've got a screaming baby in the background, or the dog starts barking. We're like, God, they were so good but then they blew it because we told them you know what's expected and so yeah we kind of have to be strict yeah I that I can see that that would be really critical that you can't have the yeah it's critical well one of the main reasons why I would have really loved to have had a VA back in the day when you know it was possible was because I had a small baby and I didn't mm -hmm. want to have this crying baby in the background and I felt embarrassed and I felt like a bad mom locking the baby in a closet. We have those discussions in my household because it's it, when it, one of my kids will point out saying, well, you can't do such and such. And I'll say, well, you're not supposed to do such and such. There's a difference between what you can't do and what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Uh, well, Linda actually has a good, did you, did you tell us most of, of the, do you think you told us the, the most part of the skill set, Maria? Yeah, as far as the skill set, yeah, I think so. I think we covered it all. All right. Well, I think I'm yeah. That was your first. And then just, you know, that was your yeah, first. I think that's pretty much it. Face. 
that was not as attractive, Maria. <laughs> You're lucky it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get a picture next time. <laughs> it was very short. It was the first one. So I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't your best one. <laughs> All right. All right, Linda's got a good question. I love this too. All right. Okay, you may have already touched on this, or you may have touched on this already. Is it possible to receive recordings via email of the phone conversation with the VA and the caller? So yes, but that depends on your phone system. So if you're using Jive or Ring Central that records calls, then yes, absolutely, you've got the calls available to you, and we actually really highly recommend that you record them so that we so that we can review them with the VA. Right. So it's about so our definitely. phone system, not not about the VA's phone system. Right. You can exactly. do that. Exactly. Right. Now, if your VA is doing sales calls and they're taking credit cards, you'd want to stop the recording while they're capturing the credit card, right? Right. It's a good idea. Yeah. It is a good idea. You should be doing that in your own companies too. Just yeah, your own <laughs> business move, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's very, a good idea. I don't think. Yeah, yeah it's a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and legally, it's a requirement. Yeah, so. it's, it's more than an idea. It's it's a it's a it's, it's a, a requirement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll have to make sure that all of our companies that are recording, because I can think of a few, but we'll have to make sure to go. Hey, make sure that you're stopping the recording during the uh, during when the credit card is given over the phone. And there is some, there are some parameters too about not being able to write it, physically write it down on paper. So probably want to look into that too. Or if you do, you um, have to eat the paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a good job. That's why you need the dog. Yes. Right? It's all don't making don't need the credit card number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, David, I'm with you. Quiet. It's a business call, right? So I think any of us that, that did work out of our home with our kids can completely relate to like all the tips and tricks for how to get your kid to be quiet. But gosh, if you're a VA and that's your job, it's, uh, I think it's probably a little bit more imperative that you, yeah, I, I guess you wouldn't really be able to be caring for an infant or a small child. No, and it's, you know, no, and it's, it's a stigma too. When you think about it, I mean, when you think about hiring a VA, the first thing you think of, you know, who works out of their home, the first thing you think about is the barking dog and, and the baby, the crying baby in the background. And it's, it's difficult. I mean, Tom will tell you that when we're on a call, I'm muted all the time because I've got, you know, kids and, and I have to mute myself. And so that's actually why I personally cannot work and won't work with the company because there, there, it would just be no way. So we're looking for very specific people that, um, you know, I can't say, Oh, you, you can't have kids, but you know, just they have a quiet background and they have an office and they're not, you know, busy moms who just, happen to want to do this VA thing. It's it's very specific. They're they're professionals. And how do how do you charge, Maria? Um, I I know a little bit about how you charge, but I don't I don't know the whole story. Yeah. So that's actually kind of neat. So we charge by the minute. So what so and actually that was actually my top five reasons of why people will hire a VA. So we charge by the minute. Did it freeze? Yeah, just for yeah, a but you're good now. Go ahead. Are we back? It really does freeze nice, doesn't she? Nice. Okay. Okay. So we charge by the minute. <laughs> I'm like, freeze. Um, so we charge by the minute. Um, and so what that means is literally the VA is basically on call for you. So you don't actually pay the VA to sit and wait for that incoming call or the email to be sent or the, the Yelp inquiry. We charge when the VA actually works. So by the end of the day, if they've been on call eight to five, 
you might, if you're a smaller company, you might only have, you know, an hour and a half worth of work and that's totally okay. We have to do a lot of internal things to make sure we keep people, but we manage it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's yeah, tricky. So are, you there, like, are, there, uh, are there questions? If, I've, if, if, if someone's never used a VA before, what questions should they be asking? Just not knowing. You know, a lot of times if you've never done something before, you don't even know what questions you should be asking. So if I'm thinking about getting a VA, what, what questions do I need to ask before making that decision? Good question. So I would ask what the background is going to be like, right? I would ask um, their um, vet them for sales, make sure that they are very good with sales, make sure that they are very good with people, make sure that, you know, they can handle a customer complaint. That's just imperative. If if a customer complaint comes in and, you know, you hire the type of personality that would say, oh, I'm so sorry for your inconvenience. It's like, what is that? That's not going to prevent somebody from going on your company, a Yelp, Google, and giving you a horrible review. So you do need a VA that has empathy, um, that just likes people and can relate with them and walking, you know, can walk somebody off the cliff, so to speak. Um I mean, I'm really good at figuring that stuff out, but for people who maybe don't have that gift, how how do they go about doing that? I'm being very sarcastic, by the way. Forgive <laughs> me. Um, how do you go? How, how do you how do you find somebody with these qualities? How do you know when you're talking to them? How do you know if they have these qualities or not? We we test them. We have a like Taskaway has a four step interview, so. Before I even get anybody anybody's name on my desk, they've already been through three different interviews. So, and I, each, I, you know, I might not know somebody with those skills if you know it hit me up beside the head, but I don't have to worry about that because if I'm using your organization, I can be confident that they do because you guys figure all that out for me. We'll figure all of that out. Okay. I I've got two questions, Maria. Um, and my first question is, have you had to implement any special training in these unprecedented times that we're living through right now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good question. Um, we have, um, you know, it's mainly we've all had to learn with each of our different companies that we're managing. We've each had to learn what special types of cleaning our maid service owners are offering. We've had to learn um, the precautions, who's wearing masks, who's, you know, one vehicle to a car, um, two vehicles to a car, but, you know, one front seat, one back seat, all of those little nuances, we, we've all had to learn them. So, yes. Okay, so mostly around um, our internal um, processes, Process. et cetera, mm -hmm. but you haven't had to do any any like training across the board with like teach all of your people how to be um, more empathetic to this psychological um, fallout or anything like that. It's more internal stuff, individual companies. Is that right? It's individual companies. Yeah. I don't think we've really had, I'm trying to think of anything that might've come up. I don't think we've had anything where we had to have conversations or discussions around um, doing internal training. We do a lot of internal training, a lot of internal yeah. training, but well, and I, I know it's ongoing. Had anything with COVID and it's ongoing. And I know it was it's ongoing. A, yeah. Well, Susan yeah. has a question. I, I also have an, I also have another question too. Um, I, I'll ask my question after Susan. Sure. And we've got four minutes. So I'll be really you, have, you, have, you have one minute to answer the question. Do you know right. oh, yeah. credit card system where clients input their own whoop, number in prior to the first time claim? Okay, I'm trying to understand the question. Does anyone use a credit card system where the client inputs their own number in? To yeah. it prior to the first time. There's several software palette no, that. You can do, I mean, you can do that in launch, I believe. I know that you can do that in Made Central, both through like an online booking or after the fact. There's a portal that they can go back and enter their, their email 
there may be more. Uh, that's just something you'd look in yourself or a platform, but Launch 27 and, and Bay Central both do it for sure. I'm pretty sure Service Autopilot does too. Okay. Um, all right. My question, Maria, mm -hmm. is how much management of the VA is required on the business owner's part or on the on the office manager's part? Do we have to do we have tracking that we have to do? Do you do all that? Do you give us tools to do that? How does that work? Yeah, um, so you don't have to track their time. We'll, the VA will track their time and the VA will track their activity. Um, we do some quality control um, and then like every company is different. Some companies want a, like an end of the day report. The end of the day that VA is writing every single thing down that was done today. But I would say most of the companies that we have Mm -hmm. All right, so Maria, we'll come back because I know Maria is coming back. I'm going to share just a couple of quick things with you. Um, the PHC class up and running, um, updated the site a little bit. If you want to get a sneak peek, you've got a carousel with a bunch of videos in it here that you can watch. If you're curious what it's about, I'd encourage you to do that. Uh, fleshed out some FAQs, more information here on PHC. And you get there just by going to moderncleaning.com and click on this button over here where it says PHC, but I'll drop this in the chat. And Cleaning Business Today, if you haven't subscribed, Put your email, first name, last name, really easy. And the coronavirus download, most recent things that we have here are the backlinks to Craig Shepard's website that will allow you to get uh, his bonus program or to download his SEO for beginners, both uh, very uh, useful documents. You'll want to make that trip if you haven't done that. And real quick, Maria, Brian wants to know, can they do invoicing and process credit cards? Oh, she's frozen. Yes. Well, I know they can. Go we ahead. Can. Yeah, but that is something that we. Uh, <laughs> Brian, yes, the answer yeah. is yes. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? No, Maria, sorry. No. We can yes. only do it. Yes, we can. Me. We got the yes though on there. So yes, Brian. All right. Sorry, y'all, that it was a little glitchy today, but um, I feel like the meat of the program yes, we got yeah. out there. So yay. And we will all see you tomorrow for RJ Patel. If you don't know RJ, you're not going to want to miss this call. He's one of the movers and shakers in the industry. And boy, he just is a, a really nice person to listen to. You feel better after you after you speak with RJ. Everybody does. Would you agree, Tom? Oh, absolutely. RJ is a giver. He uh, donates a lot of his time to a lot of different organizations, very active in ARCSI, a past president. Um, he's an awesome guy. You really yeah. you really need to, to hear what he has to say tomorrow. Yeah. I promise you'll feel better after a call with him. So I guess we're... At the top He's of happy. the hour. He's a very happy Maria. person, very positive. Thank you for joining us today, Maria. Thanks so much, Maria. I'm sorry that this ending got a little choppy, but I think we got really, really good. It's okay. <laughs> you know, we had two people yeah. back to back that make you feel good. Maria is like a feel good person too. It's kind of hard <laughs> to, to be depressed and talk to Maria and not feel better about things. You know, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> a positive spin on 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 life. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, very much so. Me too. She used to turn right, walking, walking people off the cliff. She's good at that. So you guys be uh, <laughs> safe. And we'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock Eastern. Bye bye.